Good morning, everyone. Welcome back into North Dakota today. And it's Monday, which can mean only one thing. It's time to start our week off right with stories from around the region that highlight all the niceness that North Dakotans have to offer. Blog author Amanda Kozier joins us from North Dakota Nice Blog. Good morning, Amanda. Good morning. Nice to see you on these chairs. Oh, yes. Here we are. Nothing over here. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, we're going to get right into it. Yes. So I want to tell you about uh, recently the North Dakota officiating Hall of Fame had their induction ceremony and several people were inducted, including a man named William Archer Galloway. Uh, and he's, he's actually the sixth, but he was the third William Archer Galloway to be inducted into this Hall of Fame. Mm -hmm. His father, William Archer Galloway, the fifth, Wow. was inducted into the Hall of Fame. <laughs> here, they, here are all the William Archer Galloways. And his grandfather, William Archer Galloway, the fourth, was also inducted. So the grandfather, the grandfather William started out officiating um, because his son started playing basketball. He also had a column in the Valley, a sports column in the Valley City Times record for those of you who may remember that. Mm -hmm. um, one of their favorite family stories from the first origin, or the fourth William Archer Galloway uh, was that it was they, he was officiating a basketball game between Hope and Page. It was really oh, it's a big okay. competition. Yeah, <laughs> it was very competitive. Uh, it was very down to the wire, and a guy way up in the rafters kept heckling yep. William. So he blew the whistle, stopped the game, walked all the way up the bleachers, straightened the guy's tie and lapel, and walked back down. Apparently, you could hear a pin drop. Yeah, I bet. Uh, and the guy left him alone the rest of the game. So the the next William. Galloway, the, the fifth, the son, uh, actually is in the Valley City State Points Hall of Fame, or he has, he's like number three points holder bec because, in part, he went to Korea and was shot in the chest and came back and played two more seasons. Oh my goodness. I know. Wow. So the latest Bill Galloway uh, officiated for 33 years basketball, and he actually also officiated volleyball for 22 years. He started doing volleyball, uh, refing volleyball the first year that it was sanctioned in North Dakota. Mm -hmm. So the whole family was together. Uh, recently they got together all the Galloways and they inducted the latest William Archer. And so congratulations to the Galloways and congratulations to all of the Williams out there. <laughs> what a legacy. Oh my I goodness. Know. And my that story about the Hope Page people. I mean, Hope Page parents heckling. I mean, <laughs> yeah. Oh, it apparently it was to the rafters. So here we go. That's hilarious. <laughs> oh my goodness. Wow. Yes. yes. So we have, okay, I have no transition here to okay. this next story. They're completely <laughs> unrelated. But the relation is that I think you actually know this organization, which is the Golden Drive Homeless oh, Kids. Oh, we certainly do. They're on all the time. We love them. Yes. And so you know, for all of you who watch, you know that they have all sorts of great drives to help raise awareness for homeless kids in the region. Mm -hmm. So they have uh, they do a socks drive. They do a birthday party drive. But I, this is actually, I want to tell you about people who, um, a group of kids who decided to help the school district, or I'm sorry, help Golden, Golden, well, whatever. Um, <laughs> uh, the organization, you know thank you, <laughs> Stay Golden, um, Golden kid, Homeless Kids, uh, uh, by having their own hygiene competition. Mm -hmm. So the fourth and fifth graders at Washington Elementary School decided to hold a hygiene competition to help Golden Drive Homeless Kids. Yes. Um, they uh, raised well over a thousand uh, items totally on their own. Wow. So what a great job. Anybody can actually have one of these drives. Mm -hmm. uh, they ha And they have all sorts of needs. They need things like, um, things we don't think about maybe, underwear, mm -hmm. um, wet wipes, uh, canned vegetables and fruits and meats, yeah. jerky. So if you are thinking about something that you want to do and you want to hold a drive, um, let contact Golden Drive homeless kids. Go drive homeless kids. Yes. Thank you very much. <laughs> Apparently, it's not my day for this. Um, I also put a link on my website yes. so that it is in there accurately. Uh, but what a great job by these kids at mm -hmm. Washington Elementary. What an awesome thing to do to help kids helping kids, yep. and uh, which such a long impact. Well, I love how you mentioned that, you know, because anyone of any age can make a difference, you know? Yes. I mean, they're kids raising money for homeless kids, and it's just so phenomenal, so. Yes, exactly. That's awesome. I love it. So if you have, both of these stories were sent to me. Mm -hmm. If you have a story that you want to share with me, uh, you can do it at NorthDakotaNice.com, or you can find me on social media at NodakNice. Well, wonderful. I'm curious, though, what inspired you to start this blog? Yes, so um, a couple of things. The, the biggest one is that I really wanted people in North Dakota to be able to tell their stories of this, of these great, nice stories. I think we, we all, as we know, it's a small state. Yes. We just assume everyone knows everything. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, you're from 
hope <laughs> we, I'm sure news gets around in a minute, mm -hmm. uh, but we really, we never share them. We, we have very few, our newspapers are going away, away, away. Uh, we have to preserve news channels like this one. And so I wanted to do it where people could share their stories so we could preserve this legacy and also just teach to the next generation about what it means to be uh, North Dakota nice. Mm -hmm. so, well, yeah. how wonderful. Thank you so much for joining us as always, Amanda. Thank you. Thank you for always having me. Yes, of course. All right, everyone stick around. We have more North Dakota today coming right up after this break.